الحق The Great Inevitable Reality With the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Ever Merciful The Great Inevitable Reality What is that Great Inevitable Reality? Before it actually takes place, you know little what it is and what should make you know what that great inevitable reality is? The tribe of Thamud and Ad treated the news of the calamity which strikes people's hearts with terror to make them realize as a lie. As for Thamud, they were destroyed by the shock of an exceedingly violent and thunderous blast. As for Ad, they were destroyed by a furious wind blowing with extraordinary force, which he let loose on them for seven nights and eight days, with no break, so that if you had been there, you would have seen the people lying therein sprawled, looking as though they were hollow trunks of palm trees falling down. Now, when they are dead and gone, do you see any of their remnants? Pharaoh and his predecessors and the inhabitants of the overthrown cities of Sodom and Gomorrah persistently indulged in evil ways. They disobeyed in their respective times the messenger of their Lord, so he seized them with an ever-increasing punishment. Similarly, Noah was disobeyed, and no sooner did the water begin to rise high than we carried people like you in the floating ark. We relate these events to you so that we might make them an example for you and so that the listening ear might listen and bear in mind. When the trumpet is blown with a single blast and the earth and the mountains are borne away and then crushed into fine dust with a single crash, then on that day the great and sure reality shall come to be. And the heaven will cleave asunder, for it will have become frail on that day. And the angels will be standing on all sides of the heaven, and eight divine powers will on that day be above them, bearing the throne of power of your Lord. On that day you shall be brought before God, and none of your secrets will remain hidden. Now. He who is given his record of deeds in his right hand will say joyfully to others, Here, take and read my record of deeds. Verily, I was sure that I would have to face my reckoning one day. So he shall lead an everlasting life of blissful happiness in a lofty garden, the clusters of fruit of which will be hanging low, within easy reach to gather. It will be said to those therein, Eat and drink delightfully and to your heart's content on account of the good deeds you accomplished in the past days. But he who will be given the record of his deeds in his left hand will say, Oh, would that I had not been given my record, and I had not known my reckoning. Would that it, the death, had made an end of me. My wealth has been of no avail to me this day. My arguments have failed me, and my authority gone. Orders shall be issued about such a one. Lay hold of him and bind him down with fetters. Then cast him into the burning fire. And string him with a chain the length of which is seventy cubits, according to the average length of human life in years. Verily. He did not believe in Allah the Great, and he did not urge the people to feed the poor. He has, therefore, no warm friend here this day, nor will he be served with any food excepting something extremely hot, which none but the wrongdoer shall take. But nay, I call to witness those signs which you see, and that which you do not see, that this Qur'an is surely the word brought by an honorable messenger. It is not at all the word of a poet. Little is the faith you have. 
neither is it the word of a soothsayer. Little is the heed you give. It is a revelation from the Lord of the worlds. Had he, Muhammad, forged and attributed some saying to us, and said, This is what Allah has revealed to me, we would have certainly seized him strongly by the right hand, and so deprived him of all his power. And then surely we would have cut off his juggler vein. Then none of you could have stopped us from punishing him, and thus stood in our way of dealing justly. Behold, this Qur'an is a means to rise to eminence for those who are dutiful and guard against evil. We know indeed that there are some among you who reject it. Verily, this will be a source of regret for the disbelievers. It is the absolute truth, a certainty. So glorify the name of your Lord, the Great.